What's up, everybody? It's Adi, and today I'm doing another pickup video. And you know what? We didn't have any pickup videos for a lot of months, but now we've had a bunch of pickup videos in the past couple months. Gary, what's up with that, dude? I don't know. I don't know either. Whatever. So, how many of you guys are Avatar The Last Airbender fans? One, two, three, well, maybe two. Okay. Well, that's cool. For me, I'm a huge Avatar fan, and here lately, as you've noticed, I've been doing a bunch of anime pickups and anime type stuff. I'm really into anime right now, I don't know why. But uh, as you can see, my hair is kind of different today, uh, which is the side and stuff. But if you uh, you two guys that said you were Avatar fans or true Avatar fans, you should know that uh, this is a Water Tribe hairstyle. So yeah, get it right, like uh, Hakoda or Sokka. You know, that that's how I have my hair. I thought it'd be cool. Uh, so, <laughs> no other tribe has hairstyles like this that you can actually, like, pick out. So, this is the only one I can really pick. Put a blue shirt on. Blue background. I I kind of went overboard. Sorry. But, anyways, let's get to my uh, pickups. These are from mm, last summer, which I ne the reason I'm doing some of these from last summer is because I never really showed anyone because uh, we were just doing game pickups. But... Now we're doing like nerd pickups, anything nerd. So anyways in that genre. Um, so I'm going to show you some stuff that I got from the summer, um, winter, and like here, like this weekend. So here we go. All right, so here we go. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the stuff that I've gotten um, from the summer and then go to more recent stuff. Uh, I'm going to do the best I can to not give you a glare because there's a glare from the light above. Um, so just bear with me. but. Here we go. Um, let's see. I'm gonna start with the DVD sets first. So, so I put that over here. Okay. So here's the first one. This is uh, the complete book one collection. So it's the first season or book. They call them books in Avatar. Um, this is like a uh, paper sleeve on the outside here. Take that off, and then here's the actual like case case. And if you open it like that on the outside, it's a uh, the Northern Water Tribe Palace or whatever you want to call it. There's like the wall, so that's pretty cool. Got the Water Tribe Nation symbol right there. And then you open it up, it's got you know the DVDs. Um, one, two, three, four, and then five. Yeah, that's five. This one's a bonus disc. So, that's what it looks like. Uh, if I were to take away, let's see. This. And there, there's pictures on the back of it, too. It's got some mountains and stuff. So, that's really cool. Um, but, yeah, this is the complete book one. So, this is a good thing to have. Uh, it's fairly cheap. I remember, I think it was like 30 Something like that. So, if you're wanting the whole collection, just get these, um, I would say. Um, if you're if you're wanting like to be a collector like I am, I'm going through and buying the actual individual ones too. Um, but that's for the artwork and stuff. I'll get into that here in a second. Anyways, there's that one. Um, then there's the same thing for the second book, um, the Earth book, whatever. And for the longest time, yeah, I'm just gonna point this out. Okay, right here. Um, I thought this like if you're an Avatar fan, you'll know. I thought this was like the library. Like in the desert, the t you know the top of it that they saw. But actually, I looked at it and I was like, wait a minute, because there's like this symbol right here, and I noticed that this is like the drill. I was like, oh snap, and that's like the guard tower. So this is like the drill. It's like a foreshadow of the the drill episode. I was like, oh sweet, you know, I never realized that. So I thought that was kind of funny. Anyways, um, you open the back of this one, and it's got a layout of Bossing Say and the uh, train tracks that you get in through this one the the first book has five discs in it and it has like four episodes each these have four discs with five episodes each so they uh were able to put more on them and i've actually ripped some of you know the dvds to my computer and i can tell that yeah there is more room on them so that's probably better that they did like this save some manufacturing costs or whatever so there you go there's that and last but not least the finale season, the book three, the fire one. You can see Ozai in the background there. Um, 
I think it's just the uh, background of where they fought on this one. Yeah. This is just where Aang and Ozai fought. It actually had a little sleeve in it. Um, I'll show you that in a second, but... Here's the DVDs. Ah, uh, you know, it starts the invasion. That's what showing, like, Hakoda, or no, that's not Hakoda, but that's, uh... Oh, what's his name? He's the friend of Hakoda. I can't remember his name now, but... Yeah, there's that. Oh, Bato. There you go, Bato. See, I'm an Avatar fan. I told you. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, but you can see here, here's the collection. This is like the little sleeve that came out. This is the collection. This is the thing I just showed you. And then it has the individual DVDs, and I'm going through and collecting those also. Um, in the back, it just tells you what's all on each episode, each chapter and stuff. So, yeah, so uh, there's that. Get that way. Now. I guess I'll show you the rest of the DVDs, might, might as well. I just got these this weekend, so here's one of them. Um, I will get out this just so I can show you for reference. Okay, so here's Book, book One Collection. This is okay. Book One Water Volume 2. You can see Katara, she's uh, bending some water there. And then you open it up, it's literally just the DVD. Um, it's the same thing. Now, look, if I were to open this and show you the same DVD, it's literally the exact same. I've played them both, um, but that's in the collection. And then there is from the individual. So it's literally the exact same, but I want it for the artwork. <laughs> so, and you know, I can stack them all up and be like, oh yeah, I've got two sets of the series because I'm a G, so, you know, whatever. But <laughs> there's that one. Um, and then I've got, I haven't even opened the rest of them yet, but, uh, Let's see, here's another one from The Water. This is volume five. It's got them going to uh, the Fire Nation Sage Temple, whatever you want to call it, the Avatar Temple, where he went to go met Roku. But this actually happens before volume five, so I don't know why that's the cover, but it's still cool, whatever. And then this cover's pretty cool. Book two, or it's volume two. And uh, the reason I bought the ones that I did, I only have four of them. I just went on Amazon, found the ones that had like less than 10 uh, available left and bought those just so I could have them. And then the ones that are still like in stock, you know, I'll get those later. So I just got the ones that were kind of like, oh, we have five left. I was like, okay, I'll, I'll buy it. <laughs> so there was all the DVDs. That's all that. Now we're getting into the cooler stuff. The show's cool by itself, but <laughs> there we go. Um, okay, I'm going to show you books. And I'll start with the crappiest first. How about that? Um, okay. I bought these books, um, and I'm going to go through and give each of these a rating. Uh, I guess, you know, my normal A through F type scale. So it's called Sozin's Comet. I was like, oh, it looks kind of cool. It's like a recap of the final battle. And it has a really awesome poster. That was that was cool. But um, basically what this book is, and I need to get these, like the Lost Adventures books. But uh, anyways, what this is, is the last four episodes of Avatar, but from first person point of view. So it's like, let's see. Um, you go through. Let's see. Um, okay, chapter one, Zuko, right? So all this is like from Zuko's point of view. Let me read something. It's like, my father must be stopped. I can't believe it took me so long to realize this. Uh, for years, I thought only my father could restore my honor. I can't believe I was so naive. Finally, I'm on the right track. Now I'm fighting alongside the Avatar and his friends. So see, it's just like, it's all the stuff that happens, but from first person, it has some pictures in it of what's going on. Um, tells you, you know, who the main person is for the chapter. But there's him with the lion turtle. So like, it's, it's, it's kind of weird to read. It's definitely more childish, you could tell, than the actual series is. So it's like, I, I don't know, it's pointing towards kids, you can tell. But it's basically the battle from first person point of view. And then here's the poster in the back of it, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, let's see. So it's got Ozai in the middle, Zuko on the right, Guitar on the left, some lightning, then Aang, and Avatar State. So, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool, but overall, because it's kind of more childish and it's weird <laughs> reading it from first person point of view, I'd probably give this book maybe like a C. Something like that. That sounds about right. So yeah, see, there you go. <clears throat> okay. Um, and we got this one. 
Now this one's weird. Uh, <laughs> okay. As you can tell, it's The Last Night at Bender, like the movie. Um, because it says, inspired by the blockbuster drug by M. Night Shyamala, whatever, Shyamalama, Lama, Hama. And so, yeah, but, okay, this book's actually really good. Um, I'd probably give this, like, a, uh, I don't know, maybe like a, a B plus, A minus, somewhere in there. The only reason is because it uses the characters from the movie, but it's stuff that's like, you didn't get to see in the show. So, like, um, Oh yeah, it's a graphic novel, also. <laughs> but, uh, you can see, like, let me see here. There's, like, Iro, and that's, like, the Iro from the movie, which... The movie sucked balls. Let me see if I can find a better picture of Iro real quick, just so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, but anyways, like, as I'm looking for this, it tells a bunch of stuff in it that's, like, backstory that, like, you didn't get to see. Like, it shows a lot more of, like, the... The part where he gets banished, like that's the Agni Kai versus you know his father, and uh, it, like it has that in the uh, the storm episode, which is like episode ten or something like that, twelve, I don't know. But like you can see here's Iro from like the movie, so it was kind of weird like that. But it shows what happens right after his banishment. So like they go to the different air temples. And, like, they go to the one, uh, I think it's Eastern. Uh, the one that's, like, upside down. But anyways, they go there, and then, like, it shows how he becomes the Blue Spirit. Like, this guy came on their boat and, like, robbed stuff from him. And he had that mask, but it was red. And so they go to the carnival, the same carnival that, like, Aang and all them went to, where they were trying to find a firebending master, and they met Zhang Zhang, like, later in, this, in the episode. But this is how he gets the idea to become the blue spirit because like that guy and him go do stuff and then like this is Zuko right here and then he gets like the same kind of mask but blue that's how he becomes a blue spirit like has a bunch of stuff in there that's just like wow cool I didn't I didn't realize so like it's weird that it has like the, the characters from the movie but it's cool that it has like story that actually goes with the story that you didn't get to see so like this is actually pretty good so yeah I was gonna say B plus A minus somewhere in there that's I like this one a lot now Let's see. We'll do we'll do this one. This one's called The Lost Adventures. This is like all the whole collection of them or whatever. Um what this is is another graphic novel. As you can see, all the graphic novels. Um <clears throat> but what it is is like short little stories that <laughs> most of them like I would say like 80% of them mean nothing. Like they're just like funny. And they they're just I don't know. Like, okay, see so here's here's how one starts. Like starts here. Turn the page. Um and then it's like it ends like on that next page. It just says the end. So they're really short, you know, it's just like okay. But some of these actually have like really insightful and like helpful things to the series. Like right here, this is a good one. Um what is it called? going home again it shows right after like they killed they killed Aang and uh you know Katara revives him with the water or whatever but like this is like Iroh about to be in prison and they took they took over the Earth Kingdom like Azula and all them and then it shows them like going back home and then stuff like that and then the very next one so that, that one's kind of important it shows them like taking Iroh back but then this one's like the most important called the bridge and it shows Katara like healing Aang and stuff and basically it's the story of how they were able to capture the Fire Nation ship right here like that you see them start on in season 3 where Aang wakes up he has hair and you're like WTF but they capture the Fire Nation ship in their clothes and that's how they get through and then you know it starts where she's like still healing them and that's pretty much where he wakes up in the series so like they're on the ship and it just shows you how they get it so it's pretty important and then the rest of it's just kind of blah 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 short stories funny stuff but then there's one towards the back that I was like oh my god this is a question me and my friends have had all the time boomy versus tough and it says round one so I'm not gonna spoil anything you have to read it but boomy and top fight and earth bending rumble so you can see who wins. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. Yeah. Oh, oh. And I would give this like, uh, mm, I give it an A, solid A. <laughs>
So let's see, what's next? We will do the Promise series. Now, the Promise is the direct sequel to the actual show. This is the parts following the show. So it literally starts out like a normal show. It's like water, earth, fire, air, blah, blah, blah. And then it's like, um, but I believe, uh, day, uh so the first day I met him, I believe they would save the world. And you know what? <laughs> I was right. And it like, it starts, you know, right there after he defeats Ozai. So it's like, okay. And then shows and guitars kiss, you know, just like at the end. And then it just goes from there. Like, go straight from there. And the entire premise of this book is, um, right here at the top. It says, if you ever see me turning into my father, I want you to, I want you to end me. <laughs> and he's like, what? But yeah, he's basically saying, if I ever turn into another Ozai, I want you to finish me. So it's like the story of that. This is an A plus for sure. This is part two. It continues on. Features most of Toph and, Z and uh, Sokka in this one. It's all about her metal bending academy. She starts up a metal bending academy. Um, let's see. It's right here. You can see it. But it's all about that, mostly. And then towards the end, it starts to get back into the actual story story. And then this is the finale of it. And... It ends, I'm not gonna spoil anything, see if I can find it. I won't show you the last page. But it ends up with Zuko trying to find his mom. And it shows this at the back, this is the last page. It says coming in March 2013, so uh, actually it comes out April 2nd, I believe. So this is wrong, but it's called The Search Part 1. They go searching for Ursa, Zuko's mom. So finally that'll be answered, maybe. These, all these A pluses, all of them, because they're made by the creators. They have all the humor, the wit, like the action, everything in it, just in graphic novel form. Perfect. If you're going to get these, get these. The promise, okay? So, yeah. And here's the last one. <laughs> this is a big book. It's kind of like the Hyrule Historia, but for Avatar. And it's rape. It's Dark Horse. Um, it is the art of the animated series. And it is legit as hell so the pages are real thick and everything basically it's just a whole bunch of art um, early development it shows what characters were gonna look like uh, before they were actually made it shows like the evolution of them like here's a picture of Katara that looks nothing like Katara right that's from the pilot episode and then it shows what she really looks like at the end so I mean it's got some interesting stuff and some really cool, fancy artwork type stuff. So this book is an A+, plus, obviously. But, I mean, it's got some cool renders. Like, I mean, yeah, this book's really legit. There's, like, the drill episode. And, yeah, it goes by episodes. I don't know. Let's see if I can get it in here. Um, this says episode, what? 32 and 33, Journey to Bossing, say. So it actually tells you what episode it's from. So basically, it goes in order. So, like, each of these episodes is, like, in order. So it goes throughout the series. But it's really cool. And it shows like what the uh let's see if I can find it right here. Here's pictures of like, you know, the collector's edition disc. But here's like two other options they were gonna use for the cover. Same thing with like the earth one. And then the fire one's the same thing. They have like different versions of what it was gonna look like. And then what they came up with. So yeah, it's got some really cool stuff. So this book, obviously, an A plus. Um, I want to say this one was like, uh, tw mm, good question. Twenty, thirty bucks, on something like that. The promises were pretty cheap, if I remember right. I want to say they were like ten or something like that. All these books have been cheap, and they've all been pretty good. So, all right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I know it took a long time. I'm sorry for that, but. Um, had a lot to go through and a lot to talk about. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Um, but other than that, if you're not an Avatar fan, please go watch it. It's one, it's my favorite anime with DBZ being second. Um, has a lot of morals in it. 
good values, uh, a lot of action, a lot of humor, and the plots actually make sense, unlike some animes, so it's like, oh, cool. But um, it's not a kid's show. Korra's freaking awesome, too. Once I get stuff for Korra, I'll do another one of these videos, but um, yeah, that's all I have. So thanks for watching, and have a great day, guys. See ya.